What I love about Distant Heights, especially where I live, is I'm central to so many things. So it's easy to get to 275. It's 10 minutes from downtown. I'm 15 minutes from the beach. It's kind of close to everywhere in the city. So you're kind of equidistant from downtown to the beach and you can get anywhere in about the same time. We're excited about our porch parties. I call it a presidential porch party only because I'm the president, it's not a big deal. We do it in August, which is super hot, and then we also do it in December, so it's a holiday potluck. Uh, we typically meet at a church right up on 30th Avenue, and we do the potluck here and the August presidential porch party here because uh, we can have alcohol. We can have a little more fun. The people don't want that don't want to come to a neighborhood association meeting will come to a porch party and that introduces them into, you know, what we do as, a, as, a, as an association. I think uh, one of the reasons why we like St. Pete in this area, in general, more than the rest of Tampa Bay, is that nothing feels cookie cutter. So as you walk down the streets here in Distant Heights, you see uh, houses with different architectural styles, you see people with different landscaping. There's not the sort of boring uniformity that you get in a lot of this area, and I think that's great. That's one of the reasons why we picked this neighborhood, actually. Absolutely. It's a close community. You know, everybody looks out for each other. You know, we have 47 feet above sea level, which is wonderful when it rains or the big storms come through. And we're close to everything. And something that we're trying to do as an association is make the people aware of the fact that they belong to Distant Heights. There are actually 300 sub-neighborhoods in Distant Heights, yeah, it's a little crazy. So we've started some late community cleanup events and hopefully that'll bring the neighborhood together. Yeah, Huge. that's what we just found that out. We didn't know it was the largest neighborhood association in the city. Um, I had no idea how far up, well, uh, uh, the other day when we were at Jen's and we looked at the map, I had no idea it went all the way up to 66th Street. What? It's, it's giant. And the neighbors are all really friendly. We're not in everybody's, you know, business, but everybody's looking out for each other. So I just love work. I, I, I just like work living here. The other thing about Distin is we are on the Distin Ridge. So we are in an elevated area, not only within St. Pete, but within Pinellas County. So if you go to if you go to the county offices, for example, and you look on a map and where do you need to go in case of a hurricane, we are a high point. People will come to my house, just don't go in the basement. When we first moved here, we wanted to make sure that we were up in high and dry area, so we purchased over here. Our, our neighborhood is a non-evacuation zone. As I understand it, the stop sign two blocks away is the highest point in the city. So that's kind of reassuring. I get to watch the water go down my driveway, which is kind of nice. Then we don't have to worry about floods. Not being in a flood zone is nice. People stay because it's, it, first off, it's high and dry. You know, there's an economic reason to live here because we don't have to have the flood insurance. And, and people stay in a neighborhood that they're comfortable in. I like that it's peaceful and quiet. Um, we live on a short two block street, so there's, you know, if you're driving down this street, you're lost unless you live on it, and that's kind of nice. I think, again, the character of Distant Heights is part of what drew us to it. We looked in other parts of the city when we bought our house, um, but it just came back to that, that feeling of uniqueness, each block being a little bit different and uh, not being didn't feel cookie cutter at all. 